Carbon dioxide levels hit 50% higher than pre-industrial time. This post received a score of 15,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I remember in high school learning we were fine so long as we kept the CO2 below 400 ppm. Well, shit. Don't worry, according to engineeringtoolbox.com, acceptable level is up to 600, and we don't start getting drowsy until 1000. It might feel stuffy. Outdoors. But at least we won't be drowsy for a while. That's good news, right? Right? My workplace hovers between 600 to 700 and I love pointing it out to the new guys. If you feel like shit in here after five hours, that's why. With business as usual, we'll hit 800 to 900 by 2100. Wouldn't that be fun? So anyway, you have kids? Grandkids? Nah. Bring em into this. Fuck that noise. Ah. Uh, antinatalism. Fish up here in Canada are dying off in large numbers due to lack of oxygen. People come up here and say how pristine it all looks. There is nowhere on the planet that you can go to escape the ruin. I work in fisheries on Pacific salmon. One of the local rivers used to have runs in the millions year on year. Last year we barely broke 100k by the last run. Looking bleak. The insect population decline is scary, too. Not just bees but all insects. It sure feels like we are moving like a freight train towards something bad. I don't even see bees in my area anymore when they used to be all over. I have landscaped part of my yard with native wildflowers to do what I can to help insects, but there is a noticeable decline in the number of butterflies I get every year now. Ticks and mosquitoes are thicker than ever though. How much time do we still have? About six to seven years before we hit the 1.5 degree temp rise. About 14 to 15 years before we hit the 2 degree temp rise. Both are utter disasters in terms of displacement, impacts on agriculture, society. Not quite accurate. Those are the timescales before we lock in those rises for the future. Unless we invent magical unicorn technology to pull carbon out the atmosphere. The actual warming will take longer. Specifically those are by the end of the century. Though we'll also see effects well before that, by mid-century at least. We're already 1 degree Celsius warmer than pre-industrial. The accuracy is important here because you don't want someone turning round in five years and saying, well where is this warming? It's not quite end of the century. We've done plus 1.0 C in 70 years. With rates that are far lower than what we're getting now. Increasing albedo from the Arctic. High decomposition rates in the Arctic and temperate, tropical forests. Increasing emissions. I bet we hit 2.0 C maybe 30 to 50 years, not another 70 years. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.